welcome to the origin of things or toot for short a short format podcast where i give you the origins the back stories slightly dramatized but 100% true of things that you know love and use i reveal what i'm talking about only at the very end keeping you the listener guessing or so i hope in previous seasons i've taken you through the stories that have led to some of your favorite brands and the unlikely stories and accidents that got us there If there's a lesson from this podcast, let it be that great things can come from the most unexpected of places and sometimes even mistakes. I am your host Deepak Gopalakrishnan or as the world calls me Chuck. The origins of that for another day. In this season, we're going to do something slightly different. Let's get cracking. Doctors of rock stars would have many tales to share. Perhaps only one such tale is steeped in folklore as much as the one I am about to tell you today. Roger Keith a swaggering confident boundary pushing handsome rock star you may not recognize the name for it's his real one oh but you surely know him and you definitely know his group roger found considerable success with his group but sadly that had a huge impact on his mental health and he would sometimes even have breakdowns and be paralyzed before taking to stage on one such particularly bad episode his band and the band manager couldn't get him to snap out of it and realized they needed professional help professional medical help and thus was summoned the doctor the rockstar's condition was not new to the doctor who gave him the requisite medication but not only did he have the right cocktail of medicines he also lent a very supportive ear and constantly spoke to roger those very words being and i quote what seems to be the trouble are we feeling out of sorts I think I know what's wrong a lot of people get this way end quote Finally the freshly drugged rock star well drugs not in the traditional sense with respect to rock stars slurred some words got up and finally managed to perform much to the relief of his band manager and of course the fans Roger Keith would live to perform another day It's another matter that Roger was hallucinating for a while and briefly thought he was a fascist dictator but let's discuss that another time This story of the unnamed doctor injecting medication into Roger had such a profound effect on his bandmates that one of them would later write a song about it a song that would play a central part of the band's career and Roger Keith's story in fact almost literally so for in 1979 a movie was released on the life of a depressed rock star a character partially based on Roger Keith I said partially based on Roger Keith because the protagonist character was also partially based on an other member of the band confusingly enough also called Roger okay let's recap till now there's a rock star called Roger Keith who started a popular band often needed medication to perform this medication would sometimes be administered by a doctor and one such interaction inspired a bandmate also called Roger who would go on to document the episode for lyrics in a now iconic song which featured in a movie whose protagonist was partially based on both Rogers got that all right Phew. yes i said movie but long time listeners of the origin of things know that that was likely to be a small deception and indeed it was for the movie itself was based on an album a concept album of the same premise with the same protagonist partially based on the same two Rogers one would write the lyrics one would be the patient the patient Roger Keith better known to the world as sid that's s y d sid would about 15 years prior start a band whose name was an amalgamation of two of his favorite blues musicians at the time a band that became the vehicle for sid's drug addled creativity a band that would kick out sid because of aforementioned drug addling a band that would constantly go on to pay tribute to sid in album form in song form and a band that would in 1979 release an opus of an album whose protagonist needed medication from a doctor before going on stage to perform a doctor who would talk to him reassure him medicate him before his patient would conjure up images of flying ships and levitating hands a patient named pink the protagonist of an album and a movie of the same name called the wall you may not be familiar with the doctor's words which i had mentioned a few minutes ago but you will definitely be familiar with the version that they evolved to hello is there anybody in there just not if you can hear me 
and that's the semi fictional story of the medication of Roger Keith Barrett better known to the world as Sid Barrett who would start a band named after two of his favorite blues musicians Pink Anderson and Floyd Council the band that would sadly have to kick out its founding member and initial guiding light before becoming superstars whose last great work was 1979's double album The Wall and whose last great song arguably was the one this story is based on a song initially called The Doctor a song you now know as Comfortably Numb see you next week with another musical episode of The Origin of Things If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us and all our shows on the IVM podcast app or ivmpodcast.com. You can also follow us on social media. We are at IVM Podcasts on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to reach out to me, that's Chuck underscore Gopal on Twitter and Chuck of all trades on Instagram. All links in the show notes of this episode. See you next week. Bye.